Reddit user Storm Draco one decided to make every mob their very own totem in game. You know, like the totems of undying you're used to. Holding a totem of undying when you're about to die will keep you alive. But today we are covering 60 different types of totems, all with their own unique effects, which you'll be able to see a whole lot of right now. And don't forget to comment which one you like most in the comment section below. Now our first new totem comes from the Evoker, the mob that originally dropped all of the totems of undying that you're used to seeing. And check out this guy. So what does it do? Well, you can right click it to shoot out the alligator like fangs that the Evoker is known for casting in its spell. You can use it, come on Betsy, embarrassing me, <laughs> to attack nearby mobs by right clicking. Now you'll notice that there's a durability associated with this thing. You can see it slowly going down. So you'll want to keep that in mind. They will not last forever. But what's exciting is not only can you right click to make this shoot out in whatever direction you're looking, if you sneak and right click, it will <laughs> snap all around you. If you happen to be surrounded by a handful of mobs, you can use that to do some serious damage to them. But be careful, because you can actually hurt yourself using these fangs as well if you're not careful. I Next up is the Creeper Totem. Now worth noting, mobs will only drop totems when you do damage to them and they die. As you can see from our victims here, they didn't drop one single totem. But if we kill a creeper, well, we can get one on our own hands. The creeper totem, when right-clicked, will cause an explosion, which won't deal any damage to you when it explodes, but will, in theory, well, you know, <laughs> do fall damage when you land. But we move on to the Hoglin totem up next. Now, totems are pretty rare. It's about a 1% chance to get one of these new totems from any mob in question but you can apply enchantments to it such as mending so that it will slowly re-heal itself with durability as you gain experience now the totem of the hoglin will allow you to launch targets into the air when you right click nearby them similar to a hoglin attacking you with its big old tusks obviously capable here of a lot of damage when the mob hits the ground look at that oh i love it get away from me you nasty dirty pig really He's still alive can we just handle this thank you He's so silly when he does that. And the best part is since this is going to be available for download, you'll be happy to know that most of these totems work on other players as well. Like this one, the gas totem. Exciting stuff. This one is quite powerful and also quite adorable. You can right click with it to shoot gas fireballs as you may have gassed. <laughs> Get it? Cause, right. And look at that. Now it does fire in a straight direction. So you can pretty much hit anything super far out with relative amounts of reliability. I mean, look at that. And we can kind of just we can kind of just go nuts with it. I mean, we've got a pretty decent amount of right click ability there. Now, if you could just come on all the way. Yeah. Oh, I think it's because my render distance is a little bit far. Can you, can you, can you not? Thank you. Much better. Exploded. <laughs> Up next is the Wither Totem. This one is extremely useful. It will allow you to cure all negative effects as well as block arrows with proper timing. So we've got slowness, poison, weakness, all those nasties that you're used to getting when you're messing with the wrong types of mobs. Potion of the Turtle Master, nasty stuff. Look at all of these effects we've got on us right now. Right click, bam, they're all gone. But notice we kept the resistance, so it keeps good effects. So we were to eat this enchanted golden apple and then right click, we would keep all of the effects in question. Very useful. It'll also work on hunger, mining fatigue, bad omen, and a lot more. Now, what we wanna do is attempt to, well, show you what happens if you right click at the perfect moment. Look at that. We managed to keep that air, I, well, the first arrow worked. <laughs> managed to keep the arrow from actually doing any damage to us, literally deleting it right as it's fired off at us. That or this skeleton has horrible aim. Next is the Stray Totem from the Stray Skeleton Mob. This one works a little bit differently. Keep this one in your offhand slot when using it and any arrows you fire will become arrows of slowness which will cause all mobs nearby to be hit with a slowness effect. But more importantly, it also happens to work with crossbows as well. So let's hit him right on the target. Oh, that was the worst headshot ever. What are you guys best friends? These seem like hugging each other. Betsy, I'm disappointed in you. What's more, you can also use the totem when in your offhand slot to fire off and then go and collect the arrow and you'll get arrows of slowness by doing that as well. So whether you've got a mob or not that you want to hit with it, you can use it to save these arrows for later. The silverfish totem. This one is awesome. This one allows you to hide inside of blocks like you're a little silverfish mob. Beautiful. And you can only hide inside blocks that are infestable by silverfish, such as these ones right here. So right click and now we're literally inside of the block. 
love that. Now, the moment you jump out of it, you'll instantly become visible once again. So keep that in mind, but it's gonna be a fantastic asset for any hide and seeks that you're looking to get into anytime soon. Love this. All of these different blocks will work, as you can see right here. Down we appear, and then bam, just like that. So good. Now, once we've right-clicked and used it, you'll instantly disappear. No other players will be able to see you. Nearby mobs and players will have no way of doing that. Now, again, we just jump on out. Now, while you're in a block, you cannot break blocks or hurt other mobs. But once you get out of the block, you will, in fact, be able to, you know, attack again and stuff. But, unfortunately, sometimes mobs can see you through the disguise. So, with any luck... Yo, dude, no, this time it worked. Hey, you stupid. Hey, he's the worst. Oh, he sees me now. The Vex Totem will let you phase through blocks for a short amount of time. It only lasts a few seconds, but as you can see right there, we managed to make our way through essentially instantly. Beautiful. Now you can use this to no clip into cave systems, hopefully not dying when you do it, or you can go right back up to the surface at a moment's notice. So useful. Wait, which totem was next? Oh, right. It's the Witch Totem. You can use this to throw random potions that the witch is normally capable of throwing, such as Lotus, Weakness, Poison, and Instant Damage. So it's a whole bunch of potions in one. Now, throwing random potions can be very useful, but you do have a one-second cooldown. So we'll go ahead and throw a couple at Betsy. I, yo, that one instant damaged me. And now you've been poisoned. And now you've been slowed. And now you're dead. <laughs> Please, no one call Peter. Now, it won't work against a lot of undead mobs because a lot of them are immune to the various different potions nearby. Like, this one is not being hit with poison at all. Better use our Wither Totem to keep us nice and safe. Get away! Pillagers and Vindicators share the same type of totem. It's known as the Totem of the Pillager, and it will allow any nearby mobs to instantly drop whatever it is they have in their hands. You can hear them kind of being funny little guys right there. Did y'all hear that? That was kind of funny to be honest. Let's use it again. Bam! Hey, stupid. Where's your weapon? What are you, the worst? It also works on players! We're gonna pretend this is a player, okay? Get back. <laughs> I need that hoe. The Ravager Totem takes advantage of a special power that a lot of players don't know it has, which is the ability to do high knockback damage to players that are using a shield. So, what we have right here is an example of that. Hi, stupid! You've been knocked back, and he's dead as well. Oh, that's summons big head zombie. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're a big headed zombie now The direction you're looking is the direction that you'll end up pushing this mob seeing that you need ravagers to kill in order to get these special totems You know you might want to be pretty careful about <laughs> Locating where you do this now. We'll go ahead and kind of look upwards for that one And as you can see here It's a good way to get them real far away from you so you can escape at a moment's notice the blaze totem is similar to the gas totem not in appearance but in power you can use it to right click and shoot three quick fireballs instantaneously now it is similar to the gas one however it will only do three fireballs and more importantly as far as i can tell no block damage so we're going to spawn in a nice cookable cow thank you can't wait for lunch should be done pretty soon here and a cookable zombie cow uh, yeah i think you guys get the idea Get away. Next up is the Piglin Brute Totem. Now, worth noting, you cannot use the effect of this totem if you've got any pieces of armor on whatsoever. As you can see, it doesn't even work. But taking off all this armor, upon right-clicking with the Piglin Brute Totem, you will enrage yourself, giving yourself strength four for a very, very, very short amount of time. But look at this, with strength four, oh my gosh, you can pretty much two hit mobs with your fist. Beautiful. I mean, actually, quite ugly. Violence is bad. Unless it's against zombies, I guess. Totems popular, it's all the rage right now. <laughs> Caleb. Endermite totems make Endermen mad. All you gotta do is right click near an Enderman and it will get them all messed up and cause them to teleport when you happen to be nearby them. Now, it'll only work on Endermen, it will not work on other mobs. The Ender Dragon totem. This one is the most destructive totem. It will break all sorts of blocks all around you, similar to what the Ender Dragon does. Right click it. And yeah, you've got an instantaneous quarry that you can do a whole lot with. But as you can see, this thing will break pretty quickly. The Husk Totem will remove the hunger, hunger effect from you. The Husk effect from you, essentially. See, we got hunger on right now. Right click. All gone. So now you can eat rotten flesh without issues, you nasty, dirty creature. Are you a cannibal? Wait, you think this is delicious? Because it is. It's pretty much beef jerky. Right click, cure your hunger. Good to go. The totem of the skeleton, upon right-clicking, will shoot an arrow in whatever direction you're looking. But you cannot collect these arrows, so don't get any funny ideas. It's basically an instantaneous charged bow, so keep that in mind. Very powerful. Y'all think we can do it? Can we do it? 
Ah, oh, what am I the worst, the weakest shot in the world? Hey, I got pretty close on that one. Um, I'm gonna stick to just making videos. <laughs> Use the zombie totem to break doors. This totem's really cute. Someone say it's adorable. Oh, goodness gracious. No! Right, all the doors nearby were broken. Doesn't work on iron doors, so keep that in mind. Doesn't work on trap doors either, but you know, that doesn't really count. The Zoglin Totem. It's kind of like the Hoglin Totem, except it's more powerful. Get away. Oh, you see? The nastiest, real high up in the air. Spawn a space cadet? Yeah, up you go. To the moon with ya! Or at least to the ground until you, you know, take enough fall damage to die. Betsy, you're not getting out of this alive either. It's nothing personal. I just don't like you. Oh, yeah? You want to tussle, baby? You want to tussle? Oh, you think you got it? You think you got it going on, Bossa Nova? No, not today, kid. Yeah, you look at you trying to play games, right? Now. Oh, boy, you might actually get me. If you could just stay away, that'd be really good. Thank you so much. Can you die? Thank you. The Wither Skeleton Totem will cure you of the Wither Effect, which can be useful when fighting Wither Skeletons. Say, hey, stupid. What are you? I cured. Ha, <laughs> worst. Where's my pillager one? I gotta get rid of this sword. Hey, 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 dummy. Ha ha ha. You like that noise? That was funny. Now we've got 10 more of these to show off from the hostile mobs, but you'll want to subscribe so you can see all 60 of them. And you can let me know in the comments below which of these ends up being your favorite because you're gonna be able to play with it when we release it for download. Maybe it's number 21, the drowned totem. Ooh, you can use this to throw a trident. Oh, sick. Very cool. Now, you can't pick up these tridents, so you can just kind of look at them, and, you know, that's all right. Maybe make some nice decoration. You know, maybe impale some friends of yours. <laughs> hey, get back here, Betsy. I'm hungry. You can even get in good with your fellow drowns. Oh, that's not a drown. Ew. Plus, look at the distance on these puppies. Bam, that is far. The slime totem adds a little pep in your step, and by pep, I mean bounce. Now, you're not made of a slime, so when you bounce up in the air, you'll still take a little bit of fall damage, but you can use this totem to reach some fantastic new heights. Look at this, the ultimate height. Well, I messed that one up. <laughs> I said, new heights. Ah, oh, well, just pretend I made it. You gotta make sure you're timing the bounces right, otherwise it don't work. Ooh. Now you made it, how do you get down? Oh yeah. I didn't think about this one. The Guardian Totem will light to shoot a damaging laser. Looks pretty cool, too. Yo, the ultimate. Check that out. Yo, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> what am I? A little boy. <laughs> now, the laser doesn't do a terrible amount of damage, but boy, is it fun to look at. Actually, I mean, it killed that cow in two hits. I don't know what I just said. It makes different missing I'm just going to shut up. Okay, now spawn laser target. Hey, hey, hey. How many hits? Three, four. Hey, that's pretty good. Rise up, gamers. We've got the shulker totem. Right click it to slowly rise into the air as though you are one of the shulkers. You will, um, you will take fall damage. Yeah, so, you know, just be careful with that. Now, it has a seven second lasting effect, but it's only got a one second cooldown. So you can use it multiple times while you're in the air. Just again, remember to have a plan to, you know, get down because what we're going to do is use it again and just keep rising up gamers i'm telling you uh, this is not gonna end well yeah we got it we, we got a we got a bit of a problem guys uh oh, totem of the magma cube it's like a slime cube but hotter and more flames oh yeah now like literally <laughs> oh boy yo i'm about to burn this place up oops cook me oh gladly hey hey <laughs> you suck uh hey cows Next is the Elder Guardian, which you can use like the other one, the regular Guardian, but bigger and better. Look at the girth on this laser beam. A maser beam. Here's a victim. Ah, one hit wondered. Hold on. You ain't gonna wonder about this one for too long. It's even stronger on the other side as well. Look at that. One hitting these guys. Now you can eat their flesh and not worry about taking any hunger damage. Oh, best day. Love Tuesdays. What day is it? The Phantom Totem. It will set the game time to midnight. Right click. Looking good. Full moon alert. Hold on a second. This is cool. It's basically like an opposite bed. Could be good for hunting mobs around since they mostly spawn at night, but uh, you know, it could be useful for other things too. Also to the power, but it can only be used a few times. As you can see here, we only have probably, I don't know, five or six uses on this thing. So use accordingly. The illusion of totem. No, this is not an illusion. Even though this mob hasn't actually been added into game yet, we do have a totem made for it. Since they don't spawn naturally, you'll want to be able to get your hands on this one. <laughs> when used, you'll fully go invisible for 10 seconds. No one can see you. I mean, they can see the totem, 
That might be scary, you know, but in a poof of smoke, you'll vanish. And there's no particles to give away your location compared to an invisibility potion. So, it's great for trolling your friends in-game. Well, the people that, you know, used to be friends with you until you're troll. I bet you didn't see this one coming. Ah, oh, goodness. We gotta get out of here after that one. Now, believe it or not, that's all the hostile mobs in-game, but what we're gonna do is encourage you to check out the next video by showing you two of the passive ones. So we're gonna check out number 29 here, which is the cow totem. Now, since we've already shown these, we're gonna show you two more of them. Now, the cow totem can fill empty buckets in your inventory with milk. Yo, check this out. Delicious. You literally just right click and check it out. Slowly but surely filling up. Now you don't need a cow nearby to generate your very own milk. Homemade. And finally, the Enderman Totem, which believe it or not is considered a neutral mob since they don't mess with you unless you're being a jerk. Now this one will teleport you forward wherever you're looking. Great for getting around. Also a powerful building tool. You can't go through blocks though. You shall not pass. So as you can see, when we try and go through, don't work. But if we look over here, Bam, I ain't. <laughs> Pretty decent amount of distance traveled here. Look at this, yo, just going nuts on it. So make sure you subscribe so you can see totems 31 through 60 and look forward to a download of all of these totems for your survival worlds in the near future. We'll see you later.